Hey guys, this is Manak and today we'll learn about applying loads on slabs in StatPro. So usually we apply loads as you know flow load in StatPro. We don't assign the beams and we calculate the load of the slab and we apply it on the beams. And we can apply different uh, ways uh, in one-way distribution that is for the one-way slab and also for the two-way slab. So basic, uh, just a basic understanding of the one-way slab. So in one-way uh, slab, the uh, LX by LY. I don't uh, like to call it LX by LY. I like to call it aspect ratio. That is the longer dimension by the shorter dimension. So the aspect ratio, we, if it is more than two, then it is one way. If it is less than two, then it is two way. So uh, in one way slab, what happens if we have extra top bars in the shorter direction only. Okay, you can see here in the shorter direction only, we have extra top bars. But in two way slab, only difference will be that the extra top bars will be in the longer direction as well as in the shorter direction. So a common question comes, uh, what if I uh, does provide the extra top bars in the longer direction as well? Well, nothing uh, bad will happen. Uh, you can provide, but it will be an, uh, you know, wastage of steel. Okay. And usually the steel in, uh, in slab is such that will not exceed the maximum limit. So that is not a problem. Over reinforcement is not a problem here. Only it is uh, wasting steel. So let's uh, get back, back to the topic and how to apply the one-way slab loads in the start process. So I'll show you an easy process. First, what I'll do, I'll create some groups and I'll apply the loads on using those groups. We can also use the option of, you know, uh, giving the levels also, but here let's do using groups. Okay. So that will be simple. So just uh, go to view and we'll go to front view here and uh, let's create some groups. You can see in the utilities tab, that is the option of groups. So I'm using the stat connector uh, series and uh, this utilities tab will also be in the, you know, earlier versions also you just have to find out, you know, simply uh, where is the groups tab. Okay. So the groups name, I'll just do one way slab and here I'll just do floor. Okay. Uh, and then click on okay. One group has been created and we'll create another group and the two way and uh, here also flow since we are applying flow loads okay so one way for the one way i am selecting the one way slabs which i have first i'll select this and then control and select this uh, i'll just uh, go and just to show you oh, i'll just select this and select this and just to show you i'll just uh, see this this is the one way slab this is uh, three meter and this is uh, you know four three to twelve meters so the aspect ratio is three which is like more than two okay clearly so one way slab associate and this is assigned here so for the two way slab all these are the two way slabs so i'll just go in the front view and i'll select them again and these two and then you can see the effect here and click on associate so we'll associate the load of the uh, two way slabs here so this is associated and then i'll go to loading and I will simply just show you the dead load uh, addition here, primary, just dead, and I will just show you dead load here, close, and click on add, and then we will go to flow loads, flow loads, let's give a load of, so suppose, I will just show you the calculation in uh, the computer, it will be better, so suppose we have a slab of thickness 150 mm, so 0.15 meter, and the sulfate of concrete is 25 multiplied by 25 3.75 so depending upon the slab design you excel a sheet you will design the slab and depending upon the slab thickness you will provide the load so 3.75 it's acting uh, from top to bottom so minus minus 3.75 and uh, then we we'll, let's go for the one way distribution and we'll go groups so first let's select the one way so we'll click on add and you can see here one way load has been added now we'll untick this and select the two way that is the other group and click on add then close so simply click here you can see so let's just put better view just uh, select uh, go to the front view and just select a particular thing and new view and okay and just for showing you the proper thing uh, you can go in isometric now so you can see this is this is the one way and this is the two way so you can see the separate load uh, you know just patterns here so for the one way it is like this the loads are uh, you know majority loads are, are getting transferred here and here and in two way it is it, ideally it is trapezoidal and uh, some rectangle but here it is showing the software depending upon a version and your uh, you know pc so there you can see the load distribution is different here load distribution pattern is different for this two way slabs in this three slabs and for this one way uh, one slab which is the one way slab the load distribution pattern is different so that's how uh, you apply these loads. You can also apply the same uh, process, the loads here uh, using this option. 
uh, using the Y range and Z range and the, the, this option also, you can do it here. So these are the two processes in which you can apply the one-way slab loads and the two-way slab loads. Thanks for watching the video. Keep learning. Bye-bye.